Indonesia is one of the most successful multicultural nations in the world. The Malay, Indian and Chinese all call this place home. Three different cultures with three different religions. With so many cultural influences, it's not surprising that the cuisine is full of variety. Asian kitchen, this rich heritage comes through in the exquisite colours, flavours and aromas that are a tasty metaphor for this unique blend of traditions. Out of the Blue is all about new and exciting ways to discover how to experience seafood. Now here at the Kalana Seafood Centre, just outside of Kuala Lumpur, it's been reported to be the best and most popular seafood venue in the Kalang Valley in Malaysia. Now I love seafood and judging by the aromas coming from this place, I think we're all going to enjoy it. Enjoy your fish, Miss Emma. Thank you very much. Mm. What they said about this place was 100% spot on. And as you say in Malaysian, sung up, set up, which means very delicious. Do you want some? We're in the state of Sabah, which is one of the states of Malaysia, and we're at a hotel that's typical of many of the hotels you'll find in Malaysia, particularly the resorts. This is the Shangri-La Brasseria, which, Michael, yeah. it doesn't get any it better, doesn't does it? And similar petang. And a local dish that we're going to do for you is setang, which is squid in a sambal sauce. It's pretty easy, isn't it, it's really? A sim it's a very easy dish, it's just that it's got a lot of ingredients, mm -hmm. but we're going to stick you through. This is the squid. It's already been prepared. We've scun it. We've taken off the head and the tentacles, and the wings are on, and all the intestinal tracts are out. And all you've got to do with the squid is just cut it up with a very sharp knife on the mm -hmm. board, cut it up into sort of thick rings. That knife's had a bit of a pounding. It has. It? That knife's been around it. And again, just once more, just to show you mm -hmm. the squid, the wings are on. Also, you can actually use the tentacles as well, too. So that's how you prepare your squid. Okay, now we have to make a paste, and we've got a few ingredients. These are candle nuts. Now, if you can't find those in your local Asian supermarket, you can use macadamia nuts, just as good. We've got slivered uh, ginger there, and this is shrimp paste. It's a bit pongy, but it really does the job. It, it, it no, is belachung. Belachung, it really is. And slivered, see how you slice Finally, the, the garlic, so you keep the pungency in the garlic. Normal onion and, of course, shallots. And they're all blended together to make that little mixture there. So what we're going to do, Michael, is add about uh, half a cup of oil to the wok. You've been dying to do this. I have, actually. You're really oh, this still is, now. Well, could you please tip okay. the rest in, please? <laughs> and we're yeah. just going to put in all the ingredients that we're, we're just going to combine all those. 
Mm, and yes. uh, Michael, if you can add into that, we've got three lots of tomato to go in. Okay. We've got the tomato. Oh, here. Yeah, that's right. The tomato chili, chili sauce goes into this that's recipe. That's the sweet chili sauce. That's the sweet chili sauce. Yes, all of it goes oh, in. That's and that's probably about 200 mils. Mm -hmm. Each one's about 200 mils. Tomato sauce. 200 mils of tomato oh, sauce. Oh, tomato sauce. sauce. You had that on your chips it's today, it. didn't you? And also chili paste. Chili paste. <laughs> which is very, very hot, oh, yeah, and about right. uh, 200 mils of that. So we're going to cook that up. A little pinch of salt. And just a little pinch of salt mm -hmm. to uh, to boiling. And what, what have you got over here? What's and that mixture? is shrimp powder. So mm. the shrimps have been dried. Mm -hmm. and then a little bit of that in? Uh, yes, we put in actually the whole lot. Which, oh, the whole, the whole lot. lot. And that's going to really oh, add the... Because it's shrimps, it is subtle. And again, we're going to let all that combine. And that mm. put, let it go for about... Uh, a minute or so, mm -hmm. and now we can put in the uh, the squid. So okay. there's probably about a kilo of squid there, Michael. Right. I just oh, uh, just put it in with the old. You yeah, Michael. Well, it's going to get cooked, isn't it? Anyway. And you can see that. So you've got to make sure all your sauce is boiling first. Mm -hmm. You're going to put in the squid. Not long. Not long, Not because long. the squid will probably take about a minute. And that's how simple it is. You can also in your grocery shops and your supermarkets, you can buy sambal paste already made up. And also, we've got to put in the palm sugar as well. Oh, I so palm sugar. I'm glad someone pointed it out because <laughs> it was on the table. So thank you. The palm in sugar the goes palm in, sugar. and that and that will dissolve and give it that lovely mm. flavour. And you can see oh, that is that. really cooking. Now, how long did that take? What about Didn't two minutes? Didn't take long at all. It's really those ingredients. Once you know your ingredients, blending them together. But as we said, you mm. can buy commercially made sambal in the market. Michael, I think you pulled this out of your Epicurean arsenal. Yes, I think you just can't wait to have it, can you, Michael? Oh, look just a little that. bit more. Oh, look at that gravy. <laughs> that squid was only oh, minutes looky, away. Looky, looky. Have a look at that. Mm. Look a little bit more. A little bit more. Oh, just a little bit more. Okay, there. We are. That's enough because we've got to decorate mm. it. Look at that. Yeah, what? Just a few little onions. A few or? little onions and um, some tomato. Mm -hmm. And the tomato. In a lovely dish. Mm. A couple on there. Mm. And there. also that to have that with just yeah, all plain yeah. rice. There we are. Voila. Beautiful sambal squid. Should we? I think we should. Okay. You've been hanging out for it. <laughs> it's going to be hot. Mm. It's going to be hot, but mildly hot. Oh, God. Mm. Mm. That is absolutely delicious. Mildly hot. Now we've just turned off the road after coming down from the highest part of the Cameron Highlands and we found a typical Malaysian market garden. And as you can see, they really do it in all sorts of unusual areas here where they grow their vegetables and crops. But this is a, a running stream here coming down from the mountains and we've been told that at this very market garden is Southeast Asia's largest watercress garden and it's nature's biggest hydroponic garden. Now the water that this plant is growing in is clean, fresh, and it's full of nutrients that the plant requires. You know, nature's amazing because some plants die when there's too much water, but this watercress absolutely loves it. And it's so healthy, this water. It's got tadpoles in it and plenty of little uh, baby fish. And the plants are out here in the sunshine and growing really well. They just cut it off every few weeks and bundle it up and sell it. Now you can use it, it's got a really quite a a pungent taste and mustardy taste, use it in salads or in stir fries. Watercress. Mm -hmm.
One of my most favourite dishes is kuei tao. I never quite can get it how the experts get it. But today, I'm in for a bit of luck. Michael, I've spoken to Harold, who's the chef here at the resort that specialises in Malay food. So Harold is going to show us how to make kuei tao, and we're going to be using local seafood. We've got squid, which have been cleaned. We're going to use some slices of mackerel and also uncooked prawns. And here is the actual finished seafood mm. that's going to go into kuei tao. Now, Harold, please show us how to make kuei tao. Okay. Hello, sir, <laughs> Now, yeah. turn on the heater, of course. Yes, this is yeah. real. And what a heater. Wait to hear this, this, guys. <laughs> it is unbelievable. <laughs> Matches there. Mm. Turn it on. Mm. Oh. That's it. Okay. Now, first of all, what do we need to add in? Oil. 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 Yes, looks like about 100 mils of oil yeah. in a very hot wok. And what would you yeah. like? Ginger. Yeah. Garlic. Mm. All the garlic. Half. Half the garlic. All right. Onion. Onion. How much? Oh, half a, that looks like about one onion. Right? The sambal. Sambal. This is sambal plate. How much of that? Half. Half? Two eggs a half, Mark. That is very we easy to remember. We have to re educate yeah. Harold. Stir. And stir to combine all the flavours. Yeah. And Egg. Egg. One. Yeah, two. Two. Egg. Yeah, Mark, you're doing a marvellous job there. Under instructions. I've totally lost it. I'm, I'm just watching how <laughs> <Nah>. you... <laughs> oh, seafood. The mixed seafood. Ah, uh, the mixed the seafood. Three varieties of seafood that are going in. And what about uh, the heat from the <laughs> wok? I wish I could toss it like <laughs> Harold. <laughs> and oh. more. Oh, All right. That looks very easy, Harold. Yeah, easy. Very easy. Easy to cook, easy to eat. And how long do you cook the seafood? Maybe two minutes? Yeah, just about two minutes. To combine all the, uh, to get all the heat okay. in the seafood. Hey Michael, it's um, starting to smell not like mine. <laughs> I can see you have. What would you like now? A little bit more oh, oil. A bit more oil. Wait, just, just a little dab of oil. Stick. So it won't. Right, I see. So, okay. so it won't stick. Won't stick. So maybe that's what you've been doing wrong. Well, I don't know what I'm. Maybe I should use a wok. You've got to keep on work a hot wok. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now what the next? Egg. The egg. These are rice, flat mm. rice noodles. How much of this? Yeah. Half. Half. Half again? Yeah. See, Not Michael? So many, no. Not so many? Okay. Yeah. All right. This half stuff. Yeah. What about these? Half? Half. This one. Mm -hmm. half. After. 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 That's where I go wrong. How much, how much light soya? Uh, three. Three? Yes. Three teaspoons of light soya. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. That's what we can't do, oh, isn't oh, it? That's what we can't do. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's the heat. There's a lot of heat. You really got to work. You got to keep working. Chicken stock. Chicken stock. How much? Stock. One. One. One teaspoon yeah. of chicken stock powder. When does the chili go, in, Harold? What? The chili. The chili on, on the top. That's just on the top. Oh, that's garnish. If you want spicy, get the top. I see. The chili's on the top. Look at that. Okay. Boy, boy. More. More oh, yes. It just keeps working it all the time. Okay. Mm. Nearly ready, Harold? Yeah. Yes, I think so. I think it's... Uh, oh, beans fruit. Oh, beans, beans sprout. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to hold your plate? Oh, hold the plate. I'm all of them? Yep. Bean sprouts. Here we are. Again. That's why you can't do it at home. You can't flip and toss my carol. I flip and can't. <laughs> okay, it's Aye. finished. Oh. Have a look at that. That is a quaity owl. That'd be 38 ringgits, please. See, oh. <laughs> I think he knows how much to cook for you. Look at that. That's fantastic. And to decorate it, uh, yeah, a bit, bit of chili on top, a bit of chopped coriander. That's very good. Harold, Shall we let well him try done. it, Harold? Very well good. Just try there a little bit. Are. He always has to try this, Harold. Yeah. Okay. Now do you understand how to cook kuei tiao? That is stunning. Uh, okay. <laughs> thank you very much. We lost Michael, and thank you to Harold.
Harold's not only a great chef, but he's pretty good as a musician, and he plays in the kitchen band here at Razaria. things that make up the biodiversity of this beautiful planet, these mangroves behind me are probably the most important in the plant kingdom. They really are the lungs of the river. They reoxygenate the river. They are havens for fish to spawn in. They really do filter the water. And in fact, when you've got mangroves growing in such a healthy state, you know that the rest of the river is very, very healthy and they stabilise the ground around them. It's a tragedy when you see in modern cities that are on river estuaries and deltas that they just clear the mangroves and that is very, very dangerous for our environment. Malaysia is famous for a lot of sensational flavours but my all-time favourite is the chicken or beef satay. Charcoal makes all the difference, and there's a real art to the cooking. I think there's a fine line between grilling and a blazing inferno. These guys are experts, and the smell is irresistible. This place is just off the freeway and a welcome stop for a hungry family. Sadly, the sun is setting over the beautiful South China Sea on another lovely day here in Malaysia. And sadly, it's the last in our series of Out of the Blue Malaysia. I've had a great adventure. I've learned the traditional way of cooking Malay style. And I've been to some exciting places in Malaysia. And aren't the people here so friendly and happy? They really are. Yes. Did you have a good time? I'm coming back. Terrific time. We're all coming back. We hope you had a great time too. Mm -hmm.